Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert, and I want to talk about setting reverb decay times in this video. Now, I've become a big fan lately of timing my reverb tails or decays to match the tempo of the song. And Chromaverb offers a really easy way to do this as well for the pre-delay by giving us the opportunity to sync to increments of musical beats per minute related to the tempo. But if you're working with a reverb that doesn't have this functionality, there's a really easy way to calculate what you need using Logic's Inspector. Now this song is at 68 beats per minute. And if you click on the delay field, you're gonna see musical values there and then the equivalent in the number of ticks and then in milliseconds related to the tempo of the song. So this is a nice slow ballad -y kind of song at 68 beats per minute. I want a nice long reverb, probably a whole note which would be about 3.5 seconds, which is nice and long, and I'm multiplying by 1,000 because these are milliseconds. A half note would be about 1.7. A dotted half note would be about 2.6. So one of those will probably work well. Let me play you some of this with no reverb, and you'll hear the example of it dry. Darling girl, come run and see. So the vocal is the predominant instrument or element here. So I want to make sure it works with that. So let's turn it on. And I can start by just clicking the sync to tempo button. And if I go to half notes, it should be about 1.7 or so. 1.8 rounds it up. That's fine. Darling girl, come run and see. I think I want longer. All the damage that you've let's try the different done rooms. to me. From the wreckage that was me and you And breaking down is hard to do So that's working nicely. Now, pre-delay as well. I want, obviously, a much shorter pre-delay time. But again, I can sync it to musical tempos. Probably somewhere around that will work. A 64th note, 55 milliseconds. Darling girl if it's too long, we're going to hear too much of a separation between the onset of the reverb and the dry vocal. Darling girl, that's too much. Come run and see all the damage that you've done to me from the wreckage that was me and you. So that's working nicely. And while we're here, let me check out the guitar solo and make sure it's working with that. working nicely. So great little tip. Try and time your reverb tails to match your tempo. It's easy with Chromaverb as it has built-in sync to tempo, but if not, you can always use the delay values here to quickly eyeball the corresponding number of milliseconds to the musical subdivisions. This is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Expert signing out. See you for more next time.